So in this video, we'll be going over how to create and set a top level graphic in FinStack 4.0. Since everything in 4.0 is context sensitive, you'll want to make sure you are at the highest level of your navigation by double checking that you're not navigated down to any level of the architecture. Once you're ready, click on the menu option, scroll down to the system integrator app section, and in there you will see the graphic builder slide bar. Click on that to open it and select the new option to begin setting up your top level graphic. The window that appears will have two customizable sections below. The first section allows you to name the graphic, and the second section allows you to pick and choose which sites will be represented in your graphic. Once you hit OK, the graphic will be created. If you look at the smart menu to the right of the screen, the graphic you just created should automatically appear there. You'll also notice that all of the other graphics on that project are also visible. That is because when you're at the top level, there's no filter which allows you to access any and all of your graphics on the go. Okay, so go to your graphic that you just created and click on the slider and select the edit option to open up the graphic in the graphics builder. The first thing we'll need to do is bring in the building image. To do this, you can go to your graphics properties, open up the background section and change the type from color to image. Then select the browse option to bring up your available FinStack files. If your image isn't already uploaded into FinStack, go ahead and drag and drop it into this window to upload it. Once your image is uploaded, go ahead and select it in the window and hit the import button to bring it into your graphic. You can now go ahead and delete the header component and the blue icon as you will not be needing them for your top level. You should now have a stack of status alarm labels that were automatically created for each site that you selected to include in the graphic. So let's start off by separating them uh, one under another. And once they are separated, we can now go ahead and align them. The quickest way to do this is to select all of the status alarm labels, right click on them, and then go down to the align section and align them accordingly. Typically you'll just need to align them to the left and then use the distribute tool to center them. Now we'll need to create a box to put behind our status labels. Start off by dragging out a group component and add the view container class in the group's property menu to give it a nice themed look and feel. You can now right click on the group and use the send to back tool to ensure that it is behind the status labels in the layer order. Go ahead and shape the group to fit around your labels and once that's done, go ahead and duplicate the group so we can also create a title for our legend. Bring out a label component and add the view superman label class to give it a nice themed look and then place it on top of the title box. When you're done, select the entire legend and group them together. Okay, now that the legend's done, we will need to draw some polys to represent each site on the map. Select the poly tool in the top menu and begin by drawing a poly over each of your sites. If you made a mistake, you can use the polygon edit tool to adjust the vertex points of your poly. Go ahead and repeat this process until you're done drawing out all of your sites. Once you're done drawing out your polys, switch one of your panels to bring up the virtual points view and then bind each site to the correct poly. The last and final step is to select all of your polys and make them transparent by reducing the fill and stroke fill opacities down to zero. Now that all your polys are transparent, make sure to save your project. Now that the graphic is complete and saved, all we have to do is assign this graphic to be our top level graphic. To do this, double click on your menu button to bring up the app menu. Go down to the graphic builder slide bar and select graphics. At the very top of the graphic builder menu, you will see an option called top level graphic. Click on that to open up the slider and select the create option. A window will appear allowing you to select which graphic you would like to set as the top level. Select the graphic you just made and press OK. Now every time you log in, the top level graphic will be the first thing that loads up. If you hover the mouse over any of the status alarm labels within the legend, you will also notice that the corresponding poly will automatically light itself up to show the location on the map. You also get access to any of your site's magic bubbles by simply clicking on the status labels or by clicking on the poly itself. 
Alright, so that's all the basics on how to create and set up a top level graphic. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions on any of the details discussed throughout this tutorial, please feel free to contact us at support at j2inn.com. Thanks for watching.